I just love having my house smell like fresh baked bread. And so the way I do this is I like to use a bread machine. So I will leave a link below the video to the one that I enjoy using. So for this video, I want to show you a recipe for brioche bread and I'll leave the ingredients for you here. They'll also be below the video. So we'll first just get started by straining our bread flour and I want to make this nice and light and airy and then we can add the rest of our dry ingredients. And we'll whisk them just to combine everything real well. And now I'll chip in my butter. The butter needs to be cold. And my water is around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so to this, I'll just add the egg yolks. And you can use those egg whites for meringue cookies. So I'll leave you a link for that too. And now let's go ahead and transfer the egg mixture to the pan and add the vanilla. And now we can add the dry ingredients. It just really does not get any easier than this. And I'll make a little indentation here at the top. And this is for my bread machine yeast. And into the bread machine, I'll set this on the dough cycle. And there it is working. So it will take about an hour and 20 minutes. So I ran some errands. I also prepared my pans by greasing them and flouring them. And then the dough was ready. So out on a floured surface, I just went ahead and dumped it out. And I want to separate this into two loaves. So I'm not sure of the size of the pans. Um, I get those uh, little bread pans at the Dollar Tree. It also makes a nice way to give um, a gift to someone around the holidays where you can just pop them into these little you know, pans and makes a nice little homemade gift for neighbors and family and such. So now you can just put these in a little area where they can rise for about one hour. I like to put them in my oven and just let them rise in there. And so about an hour later, they should be looking like this. And now we need to just give them that color that they're going to get when they're baked. So we're going to make a little glaze here with some egg yolks and some water. Just a little splash of water and some egg yolks. And we'll just brush that right on there. And now back into the oven, which I had preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And just a little bit later, they're ready. So I let them cool off just a little bit and then remove them from their pans and then slice them. So I like to slice the brioche bread about an inch thick and then I'll pop it in the toaster oven so they can just get very lightly toasted. It's warm and then I warm up some apple butter too and we'll just spread that right on here and it makes a nice little dessert. So I hope you can give this a try. Please feel free also to head on over to my channel where I have a playlist section with more bread machine recipes. And as always, click that little bell off to the right of the subscribe button and you'll receive all notifications for my channel. Feel free to share this on your favorite social media. I sure would appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.